guys, this is Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone and this video will be checking out on how you can install the latest Cable Mod 4.1.2 firmware. So you all know that Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone is one of the most powerful smartphones available as of now which comes with 1.4 GHz quad core processor. Though there are many hell lot of custom mode firmware already available for this smartphone. This custom mode firmware which I am talking about in this video is Cable Mod custom mode firmware and is based on the one of the most stable ROMs that is XXDLJ2. So before you proceed, ensure that your the rooted firmware and also on your Galaxy G smartphone you need to download the zip package which I mentioned in the below link of this video. Just head over to that link, head over to the procedure section and download the zip file of Capital Mod firmware and place the same in your Galaxy S3's external SD card and not the internal memory of your S3. So assuming that you already placed that, all you need to do is just click the phone on the computer and then download the ROM manager application in your S3 on the Google Play Store. So assuming that you already done that, open the ROM manager application in your phone. If you get any of such prompts, click on OK. Then cancel it. Now all you need to do is select the option of reboot into the recovery mode. There is a super user request. Just tap on grant. Once you select the option of recovery mode, the device will now be booting up in the recovery mode. As you can see that there is a recovery mode. So before you proceed, select the option of 5 data and function reset. This is a touch mode recovery. Support mode recovery is dot 0 0.1.2. We can enjoy the touch control. First up, you need to clear and wipe the data cache. As you can see that it is now wiping the data. After doing that, set the option of by cache partition and then tap on yes. So we wipe all the cache partitions which is there in your phone. It's very important to do that because it clears up all the cache data and also all the applications from your device. Because once you are installing the new firmware, it will corrupt all the applications and all the data. So before it does anything to all the data, it's better to wipe off and getting some errors in the application so after installing this firmware. After that, after doing the wiping data and the wiping cache part portion, just tap on advanced option and then wipe the cache also by selecting the appropriate option. And then also optionally you need to you can select the option of wipe battery stats. So once it's done, tap on go back and then install it from SD card option which should be selected and then choose it from install SD card after which you will be getting a whole lot of files which are there in your external SD card from these files just select the cap on mode custom ROM firmware zip package which you have placed in your device and then tap on yes as you can see that a list of processes are being done which are finding update package, opening update package, installing update. You can also see the progress bar over here which will indicate that the system firmware is now being flashed into the device. Backing up EFS partition, EFS partition is one of the most crucial parts of your device where it consists your IMEI number because without IMEI number it will be impossible for your device to detect any SIM card. So nowadays operators have come in with the latest technology wherein just in case your device does not have an IMEI number then it won't be catching any network. It's very important step and all thanks to the custom firmware developer maker which is capable mod custom firmware for giving the option of backing up the EFS part. This custom ROM firmware is developed by AL92 recognized XDI developer. So 
as you can see that installation from SD card has not been completed. Now all you need to do is the option of go back and then again select vibrator map option and wipe cache partition option as well for safety. Once it's done, select the option of reboot system now, which allows rebooting the device. As you can see that there is a boot animation which has just come now. This is Android logo which has now been popping up. quite a while on the screen boot animation because the laptop will then finalize all the application for the other device. So ensure that you are not interrupting the first of the power update. By pressing the menu key or the power button. take quite a while on the screen and I will reset that if you talk about features then this firmware is quite a kind of my personal favorite because it comes with a whole lot of applications that is probably close to function to have and also the internet power menu photo and video and application mods Google OT updates check-in is much more improvised and also it has got an extended radio signal portion. So now the country selection option has just popped up. So select your favorite country in the language as well. I've selected English United States. Just tap on yes. Since there's no SIM card, it's popping me the screen. things can be also be added at this stage. See that there's a Nova launcher. There's a Nova launcher over here. There's a bunch of applications right on your device. And right from the scratch, which also includes a token browser, is Explorer, DSP Manager, the gallery application. There's a Nova launcher of course. This store has got a new logo. Voice Robo recorder as well, OT updater is there, MX player is there, and these are the bunch of widgets which comes along with this firmware. So now let's check out the dial pad on how it's gonna be. This is a phone application. So there's a dial pad which is a whole new improvised one. A call log, the favorite, the contact, which is it, which will be picking up from the Google account. Let's check out on how the messaging is. Here's the messaging, it's quite major one. Let's check out the settings which I've 
start this is for got a bunch of options security about encryption of the SD card that's for how it is this Stay tuned for more updates.